Hey, what's happening, guys? First of all, thank you for the huge support you guys have shown me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. I mean, I don't really get Twitter yet, but uh, Instagram has been awesome, and it's been nice to converse with a few of you guys. Uh, okay, cool. First of all, um, I realized there are so many questions for this Q&A. And the reason why I'm doing it is because you guys have been shouting out to me and giving me a lot of love, and I said, oh, I gotta do it right away. So we're gonna do this right now, uh, the start it. And I realized though, there's so many questions, I'm gonna have to do a few episodes of this. So we'll just see where we get today. And then um, it's probably good because we'll build the channel a little bit, because if I'm gonna get like voice actors involved, I need to get this into the thousands. So help me push it, help me spread the word. Let's get right to the questions, here we go. I have not practiced my answers, I just wrote these down, I, I don't, there may be some repeats, sorry about that. Voice actors for the movie. Yes, unfortunately, we are not the voice actors for the movie. Uh, you know what? It's all about putting bums in the seats for Hollywood. They want to have a, a name. They want to be able to... The, the parents will then go, Oh, yeah, we should go see so-and-so in the movie. And then they go to the movie and the, kid, and the kids get mad. It's a cycle. It's happened before. It happens all the time. And so, uh, for me, speaking personally, uh, am I bummed about it? It would be nice to be in the movie, but... Uh, you know what? I, I got a pretty positive outlook on it. I'm still in the cartoon, um, and we know that's where the real thing's at. Okay, uh, are you and the rest of the cast currently doing voiceover sessions for Ninjago season, uh, season 8? How was season 7? Was another amazing season. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't answer any of that. Um, Lego has better lawyers than I do, and uh, we can't do any spoilers or anything like that. You know what? I'm sorry, I got a really good camera, but I just kind of like using my phone, except for the fact that my arm starts to hurt. Um, hope the quality is okay with my phone, but I could I could do down the road, I could do a camera. Will Zane and Pixel separate, or will they stay as one? Well, again, I'm sorry, I can't answer that as much as I'd like to. How do you feel when Zane died at the end of Season 3 and he came back in the uh, Season 4? Dang. I'll tell ya. Uh... <laughs> First thought was, oh man, am I off the show? Like, what, seriously? Like, did they really kill me? Like, my second thought was, no, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't kill me because, no, I, I'm a ninja. But, but the, on a purely financial standpoint, it happened at Christmas time. We were recording at Christmas, and I was expecting those episodes because we get paid per episode. So I thought I was going to be getting those episodes, and all of a sudden, like, dang, man, I'm not in those episodes. Merry Christmas. So that kind of sucked, but then when he came back, you know, life is good. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, okay, no. What did you think when they told you Zane was going to sacrifice himself? Same thing. I said, um, I don't like it. <laughs> as much as he's awesome doing that, I was like, I'm out of a job. What is your favorite part of Zane? <sighs> There's lots of stuff, but honestly, I think it's that he's an individual. I've seen uh, on Instagram, I've checked out a few of your accounts, you're cool, what you're into is awesome, I love it, you're all individuals, and that, and, and I started with Ninjago fans to start this channel because I knew you guys would help spread the word, I knew you guys have supported the show, and I hope that you would support me, and um, yeah, I just love that he's an individual, and he's doing what he loves to do, um, and he doesn't care about, about what people think. Okay, uh, advice to get into the voiceover business when they are older. When they are older, dude, do it now. Do it when you're younger because that's your greatest chance to succeed in the voice business. Honestly, it's very tough. It's very competitive. Um, it's an up and down industry. You work, you don't work. You work, you don't. Like, pro I, I can't really recommend getting into the voiceover business if you want to have a stable life. But to be honest with you but it is probably one of the funnest jobs you can have like it's so awesome so whatever you're doing in life have fun with it but to get in uh, get in when you're young get like don't wait till you're old because the pool is smaller with younger kids and teenagers it's smaller and once it gets to adults there's so many good people like when I get a part um, yeah another thing about that like I've never been because I I just don't like attention Why'd you put yourself on YouTube, Brent? Uh, um, yeah, IMDb, all that stuff. Like, I, in my IMDb, I don't have a normal one. People do it. It's all over the place. I, apparently, I've been a, a bellhop person in Baywatch, even though I've never done on camera. So, if you... <laughs> yeah. The internet's messed up with that stuff. So, I don't think I'll ever update my IMDb, but I got way more credits than you'll find. Uh, okay, what, am, what was I saying? 
Did you know Vincent is a My Little Pony? Yes, I do. He's also done a ton of other things. Uh, what were you going through your head when you found out Zane was a Nindroid in Episode 7? Oh, to be honest with you, I didn't like it at first. I was like, oh, I don't feel like I'm... Like, what are they going to do with me? I'm, like, going to be all into robot things. Like, this is... But once I saw, like, they, where they were going with it, yeah, it was cool. Okay, I just realized I'm, like, five minutes. Can I end the episode here? Is that cool? Because then I can do another one, like, the next day or something. Or a few days from now. All right. Sorry. We'll answer more questions. There's so many questions, dude. It's awesome.